Hey, beautiful good afternoon. Uh, this is yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka from Panuka Farm, uh, right here in uh, Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, it's been a while since we had a video, uh, you know, just giving you an update on how we are, you know, uh, managing our little farm here uh, at Panuka Farm. Um, today, I just want to give you an update on, uh, you know, our recent investment in, uh, in shed net, uh, so that you just appreciate, um, you know, whether, you know, this investment is actually worth it. So I'll take you through a few of the shed nets that uh, we've uh, constructed so far so that you just see how uh, they're doing uh, in terms of sweet pepper uh, product. So we will start with, um, this is Panuka shed net number one, SN1. Uh, we just see how uh, sweet pepper production is doing in this shed net and then we'll proceed to the other shed nets that we've actually been uh, constructing. So we are now inside um, shed net number one here at Panuka farm. Uh, that just gives you a bit of an aerial view uh, of this, um, you know, shed net. Um, we'll get uh, inside so that you see how um, this shed net is doing. Uh, but you can actually see that uh, the greenery is actually quite beautiful and encouraging. Um, but yeah, we are not here to produce leaves or greenery, but fruits. So let's just uh, take a, a quick, you know, dive into this um, shed net. And already you can actually see some very lovely uh, fruits that are coming up. Uh, so far, it's actually doing quite well. Uh, so these are the kind of fruits that uh, are already, you know, coming up. Um, so there you go. Quite some very massive, um, you know, uh, fruits coming up. Just looking at this, this should be... Uh, over 250 grams, I think. Um, so, many more here. Um, look at how lavish, you know, these fruits look like here. And this is uh, a shed net and not uh, a greenhouse. Uh, you actually see just this green net on top white net on the side uh delivering such you know lovely um you know uh fruits so it's actually an avalanche of uh, fruits everywhere um this shed net seems to be doing extremely very well um the size of the fruits uh, is quite enviable okay so this is another massive one uh this obviously is in excess of 200 grams So on average, actually, here you can actually see that we have an average of uh, 200 plus, uh, you know, uh, grams in terms of the size of fruits. So this is uh, certainly a good job for our team uh, in terms of general uh, management practices for pepper. This one looks like a bit off, a bit of an elongated uh, sweet chili or rather sweet pepper um yeah but generally excellent so um just leave you with some of these visuals um as we wrap up here from uh shed net number one so that we move on to um you know the other uh shed nets uh just seen some very lovely you know uh fruits there uh let me see if i can zoom they look lovely okay so Across there, you can actually see some very nice, um, you know, fruits. Um, and generally, you can actually see that this is a lovely, uh, you know, outlook. So that's just a bit of an area view of this uh, shed net. This is uh, 10, you know, by 40. That's 400, um, you know, uh, square meters. Um, the capacity at around 2,000, you know, uh, plants. So quite massive. So let's get to shed net number two, SN2. Um, that's the one that follows the other, you know, shed net. Uh, you actually see the material that we use to construct this is the same as, uh, you know, shed net number one. So that's just a bit of an aerial view uh, of this crop. Um, and then now we get to dive in, 
and uh, look at how uh, prolific it is uh, in terms of uh, you know production fruiting quite some very you know lovely uh, fruits so this shed net also has uh, 2000 you know capacity similar to um, you know SN1 uh, so cumulatively you're looking at um, you know 4000 um, you know plants and uh, you can see underneath there uh, some very good, you know, um, fruits, big. Um, those obviously are in the range of about, um, you know, 150 grams to about 200. Like this one would actually, you know, weigh around 250 uh, grams. And that's exactly what the market, you know, um, you know wants. Um, and you can actually see the four, you know, lobes of, uh, you know, pepper, because that's how the market wants them. Four lobes um, weighing uh, minimum 150 to about 200 grams uh, per fruit. Uh, obviously, again, when it gets too much, you know, uh, say 250 like this one, probably that becomes a bit of an issue. So, yeah, trying by all means to make sure that uh, we balance and keep it around, um, you know, 200 you know, grams on average per, uh, per fruit. So, yeah very you know good expose of how prolific um you know um this greenhouse is this is duke uh, it's a stacker is you know variety that we have in here uh there you are with the four lobes uh, for um you know these fruits looking you know lovely so that's quite some very you know prolific um you know production uh from this uh, shed net as well uh, similar to uh, the exploits from um, SN, um, you know, one. So enough of uh, Shednet number two. Let's get to Shednet number three. Uh, this is the one that we recently unveiled. That's uh, Shednet number three. This one is 2,000, you know, square meters. Um, you can actually check on our YouTube um, how we constructed this um, Shednet. Uh, apparently, the material is slightly different from the uh, other two that we just showed you. Um, this one has, uh, you know, the capacity of around 8,000, you know, uh, plants. So it's quite massive. Uh, you'd need around eight or seven, you know, greenhouses to actually match the production, you know, uh, of this uh, shed net. So, so far, um, the sweet pepper here is looking uh, lovely. So um, we are actually commencing trellising of the, you know, this sweet pepper uh, this week. Uh, so I'll actually show you, um, you know, a video that shows, um, you know, um, the trellis, you know, crop. So you can actually see we already have these wires. That's where we anchor, you know, the trellis in twine. Um, so that has already, you know, been done. So um, you actually see some very good progress, I think, this week. So that's the outlook of this massive um, shed net. Um, so you can actually see that... Uh, the crop is doing quite well. So that's the wire, left, right. That's where we will anchor um, the trellising twine. We're actually doing double, um, you know, lines. So now let us do a contrast with the sweet pepper that we have in the greenhouses. So we are now in greenhouse number eight. And uh, here is, um, you know, the outlook of the uh, sweet pepper that we have in the greenhouses. Um, that's the general outlook, completely weed-free. That's the philosophy that we have, uh, you know, at uh, Panuka Farm. And, um, you know, it's fruiting. And already you can actually see some very lovely, uh, you know, fruits. But if you're actually paying, you know, close attention to the, um, you know, the fruits, you actually see that um, there's a slight, you know, uh, deformity, uh, though this is actually going away. You actually see that uh, the fruits that we had in the shed net uh, were a lot more oval with less, you know, deformities. Uh, apparently, um, you know, there's been quite a lot of buildup of, uh, you know, heat in the uh, greenhouses, um, you know, and then obviously the shed nets, there's, there's more air uh, that's, that's passing. Uh, but that's something that uh, we kind of uh, you know fixing uh, at the moment so that's something that uh, you need to take note of uh, especially here you know in zambia um you know period from around august all the way to november very hot uh, so sometimes you have this build up of heat which leads to you know uh, fruit abortion 
and also a bit of deformities uh, in uh, the fruits. But um, yeah, we seem to be having this under control um, at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, generally very good um, you know outlook here uh, in uh, you know this greenhouse. So let's move on to greenhouse number ten. Um, this one also, you know, um, if you remember when we complained about rats, uh, most of the seedlings were actually snipped off by, you know, rats, uh, but then they picked up. So this is why you actually see some very wavy, you know, growth uh, in this greenhouse. But well, it has already picked up. Um, you can actually see some very good, um, you know, fruits uh, already uh, emerging. So here you are, some very good, you know, uh, fruits, um, cylindrical, <laughs> you know, um, looking lovely. Um, the four lobes are actually quite evident um, because, again, those are the characteristics of what, you know, a good uh, sweet pepper fruit ought to be. Um, four lobes um, weighing 150 to 200 grams. So that's what, you know, uh, you know, accounts for a good sweet pepper, you know, uh, fruit. So earlier today, we actually posted, uh, I think on our Facebook page, um, you know, very catchy phrase that, uh, you know, has actually kind of tickled us, uh, uh, which basically says that uh, whatever you do in farming, do it big. Um, and, and for those that have actually been following our journey, you actually realize that uh, we started with quite a number of crops. I think we've done cumulatively about 23 uh, crops. Um, but I think at the end of this year, uh, we are actually gravitating towards maximum, you know, three uh, crops here at Panuka Farm 1. I think Panuka Farm 2 have a different, uh, you know, uh, line. So our investment uh, in greenhouses and obviously shed nets uh, is actually speaking to, you know, getting bigger. Uh, in terms of our production of sweet pepper and uh, you can actually see the manifestation uh, of uh, this plan uh, which seems to actually be hatching and we're loving that um, so very critical that uh, you devote your resources and attention your energy uh, towards a few more you know crops or if it's livestock um, you know as opposed to spreading your resources um, you know across uh, different you know lines where you don't actually master uh, the art and also that begins to compromise on your ability to produce uh, the right quantities, um, also compromise, uh, you know, our quality. And obviously also the consistency somehow gets sabotaged if you've got too many, you know, things that you're actually doing. So what we're actually trying to show here uh, is that, um, you know, our concentration on a few, you know, uh, aspects, obviously we're concentrating much more on English cucumber and uh, sweet peppers. And uh, what we're actually looking at is all three lines of sweet pepper, okay? The green, red, and yellow. So what we're actually showing you here is uh, that manifestation uh, of this, uh, you know, theory that we uh, seems to be uh, in love with, uh, which we're advocating towards much more of single or very few, uh, you know, crops. So here you are. Uh, just check how lovely, you know, these fruits, you know, looks like um, from a pictorial, you know, perspective. Um, that is what investment in knowledge uh, does you end up producing some very quality you know uh, products and we've actually been devoting a lot of you know uh, time into learning uh, consulting uh, you know the experts and um, I'm sure the results can actually show so we should be you know planting some more sweet pepper you know around um, you know October and uh, the nursery is already you know blossoming we have some new shed nets that are coming up and We'll also be, you know, uh, transplanting in the greenhouses. Uh, remember, we're getting into the rain season, so at that point, uh, we'll actually, you know, uh, require the superiority of, uh, you know, the greenhouses. All right, so there you have it. Um, that was uh, a bit of an expose of, uh, you know, our sweet pepper production, different environments, um, you know, uh, shed nets and also greenhouses um, we've actually done our with open field uh, production of uh, sweet pepper and so far I'm sure you've, you've actually seen the evidence of why we migrated from uh, open field uh, we're actually getting some very excellent you know results in terms of just uh, you know the quality of the produce um, excellent by uh, you know any measure we loving it um, 
key takeaways uh, obviously is that uh, given that we've actually created a balance between shed nets and uh, you know um uh, greenhouses. We've actually seen different, you know, results. Um, now that it's actually quite hot, uh, this is the hottest, you know, time of the year uh, here in Zambia. You know, September getting into October. Uh, we've actually seen some slight, you know, better, um, you know, results from shed nets uh, compared to greenhouses in, in terms of just the uh, the, the fruit uh, quality. Uh, we had a bit of deformities in the greenhouses, I think, because of the excess heat. Uh, our greenhouses do not have, you know, ventilators and stuff like that. Uh, we think that's, you know, an investment that's not, you know, uh, worth it. Um, but uh, generally, I think both environments are actually doing quite, quite well. Um, you know, as soon as we actually get into rain season, uh, pretty soon you actually find that the greenhouse environment will be far much more superior uh, all the way into cold season. Uh, so uh, we think, I think, creating this balance of having greenhouses, shed nets is actually paying, uh, you know, better dividends. Um, it's actually part of managing risk. Uh, so pretty soon, um, given that we will be heading into the rain season, you actually see that, uh, we'll put less of uh, sweet pepper in shed nets, but much more in the, um, you know, greenhouses. So have a lovely one. I hope you picked up quite a few insights, uh, just in case you've got uh, any intentions of getting into sweet pepper production. Um, I think these are some of the tidbits that you probably can uh, take into account, but obviously these, um, you know, protected environments are actually quite expensive. Uh, the cheaper one, obviously, being the uh, shed net. So you could start from there. Um, but otherwise, start from open field, learn the art of uh, growing sweet pepper, and then you can actually look at, um, you know, migrating into, you know, uh, protected environments like shed nets and uh, uh, greenhouses. So from Mr. Panuka, have a lovely one. Um, it's quite a very beautiful day here at uh, uh, Panuka Farms. Bye-bye.